Marlin and mongrels. but they're our mongrels, and we love them. If you're in the right place at the right time and using the right techniques, it isn't really all that hard to hook a marlin. This one's grabbed my lure right in front of me, only metres away from the boat. But now that it's hooked comes the challenging part, keeping it hooked and landing it on the kayak. I cut the other line to make sure it doesn't get tangled up in it. It's jumping around like a banshee, but I'm not sure whose adrenaline is running the hardest, me or it. Fish is on a tear, running hard and taking line fast. The only way I can keep up with it is to pedal and sail in the same direction it's moving and holding on tight, taking up slack in the line every chance I get. Eventually I get close enough to furl the sail and concentrate on bringing it in. Rhett is in hot pursuit, camera at the ready. <laughs> Taking it for quite a ride. I'm reeling tentatively because I'm nervous about the weight of the line, not to mention the suspect knot I've tied on the leader with. On the 20. Shit. You'll get there. Is that 80 pound leader? Good, good, good. Despite this, I'm quietly confident. Because if Rhett can do it, and Carl can do it, Holger can do it. And Paulo can do it. So can I, and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Slowly but surely, I'm edging closer to the fish. And then it goes ballistic again. He's done everything right here. He's let the fish run and get away from the clock a bit. Oh! <laughs> it's going nuts! Holy dude! <laughs> Oh,
gotcha. Nothing is impossible.